thousands of years, Southeast Mexico and Central America sheltered the Maya culture, one of humanity's richest and most original. Here, without metal tools or the wheel, the Maya built majestic cities. In nearby caves, descendants of the ancient Maya pray to the gods they have worshipped for more than 100 generations. Many of the cities were abandoned in the late 9th and early 10th centuries. Since that time, the forest has been the silent guardian of the mystery of the Maya. Today, these ruins are the inheritance of the Maya people. Well, let's go see what the experts in writing can tell us. Do you know what my ancestors wrote with this glyph? Interesting question. That's been a mystery for hundreds of years. You're very much interested in our work. Yes. ¿Qué tal, Paulino? Mira, precisamente los arqueólogos nos dedicamos a desenterrar el pasado. Principally, we archaeologists are dedicated to digging up the past to solve the mystery of the Maya. It's like a puzzle that is solved piece by piece. Only here in Chichen? No, no. We've been working in different sites, here, there. We've been studying for more than a hundred years. During the early 19th century, reports of ancient monuments hidden in the jungle circulated round the world. Explorers who occasionally came across these ruins tried to explain their mysterious presence with fantastic theories. Tales of these lost cities attracted North American John Lloyd Stevens, an explorer who had published books about his travels. In 1839, Stevens organized an expedition to Central America, accompanied by the talented English artist Frederick Catherwood. He wrote of the respect he came to feel toward the people who guided him, and of his surprise at what he found.
He recorded all the details of his explorations with great elegance. For the first time, we came to a building constructed long before the Europeans knew of the existence of this continent. filled with amazement and admiration for the beauty and solidity of the architecture. Here was a true palace with royal apartments surrounded by magnificent courtyards. The walls and pillars were richly ornamented with reliefs and figures so beautifully created that it was easy to see the artistic ability of the Maya people. With the aid of a camera lucida, Catherwood made many drawings. Historians say America was peopled by savages, but savages never raised these structures. Savages never carved these stones. Their accomplishments were worthy to stand beside those of Egypt, Greece, and Rome. In 1841, Stevens published his book, illustrated by Catherwood, and contributed important information toward the knowledge of the Maya cities. Stevens recognized the native origins of the ruins and admired the beauty of the cities. Alfred Maudsley was one of the first to study the ancient Maya cities with a scientific approach. Maudsley drew detailed plans and made sketches of the monuments. In this manner, he established a base for later archaeological studies. He carefully analyzed the sculptured motif.